Hi guys, today I will show how you can create a simple HTML form and insert data into the database by submitting the form. I will start with a plain HTML form and then I will add PHP code to it so that we can insert form data into MySQL database after the form is submitted. Once that is done, I will show how to use Bootstrap to change the design of the form to give it a nice look. Then we will add form validation and display messages in a more user friendly way. So let's start. I am in XAMPP htdocs folder. So here I will create a new folder for our project. I give it a name as form. I go to this folder and I type cmd and here I type code dot to open it in Visual Studio Code. So if you do not have Visual Studio Code installed, you can download it. Just type download Visual Studio Code. Go to this code.visualstudio.com and click on Windows. So it will download. Once download is done, just double click on the exe file and installation will start. I have already installed it, so I am not going to install it now. Let us now create an index.php. New file index.php type exclamation and then press tab. It will give you the HTML boilerplate change the title body give a div give an h1 copy this paste it here we will create a simple form here with three input fields name email and age and a submit button form we will use post method name input type equal to text name equal to name placeholder equal to enter name just copy this then email and then age so age will be number and change the type of email input as email so we have three fields name email and age and then we will add a submit button. Let us give a name to this button. So we have created a simple HTML form with three input fields name, email and age and a submit button. So if we run it in the browser so let's see we have this index.php in XAMPP htdocs and then there is a form folder within the form folder we have index.php so if we run it in browser localhost and then give form so you can see the form is displayed here with the three input fields and a submit button so this is a static html form there is no php code there is no database so this is just a static form if we click on submit nothing will happen because we have not written the code for the form submission so now we will write the php code to insert the data into the database so we need to create a database table first so let's create the table so we have opened php my admin and we'll use the test database which comes along with installation of xamp I have already installed XAMPP, so if you do not have XAMPP, go to Google and 
give download download zam for windows you can download it from apachefriends.org and download the latest version of php 8.2 so once you download it you will have zam server you will have mysql and php we'll create a new table here in the test database we'll give the name as users id name email and age id integer name where care email where care age integer give 255 255 create the table click on save it will create the table make id as primary key and change it to auto increment make the email unique because we don't want duplicate email okay so the table is created let us come back to index.php and here we will add php code to access the database we need to connect to the database first so we'll write php script to connect to mysql database dollar connect we will use new mysql i so we are creating an instance of mysql i it needs four parameter we will give the local host as the server then root is the user and there is no password for the root user and we will use test database so we need to check the connection whether the connection is successful or not if dollar connect connect error so if there is any error we will stop here because we need to connect to the database without database connection we cannot proceed so we will use die and then give the message db connection failed dot dollar connect connect error if the connection is successful we want to display message connection okay so for the timing we are using an echo statement just to check whether the connection is successful or not so let us just test it refresh it so you can see connection is okay so our connection is successful just for testing purpose only i have given this echo statement so i'll remove it now once the form is submitted with the values we want to get the values from the form we need to check if the form is submitted if is set dollar underscore post and the submit button name is submit so this means when the form is submitted so once the form is submitted we want to get the values from the form let dollar name equal to dollar underscore post field name is name and then email and then edge so these are the form values so once we get these three values we want to insert these values in the users table so we need to write an insert statement let us write dollar sql equal to insert into users now the field name column names are name email and age values we will use prepare statement here so we'll give the placeholder for the values now so three placeholders will be there for the name email and age 
let us define dollar statement equal to we have the connection variable as dollar connect this is the connection variable we have used dollar connect give prepare and we need to give the sql statement so dollar sql and then we need to bind the parameters so use bind param and for the bind params we have three values here name email and age we need to give the values for the placeholder so there are three variables name email and age so we need to give the values here and also the data type name and email are string variables and age is integer so we give ssi and then execute it once it is executed row will be inserted in the table and we want to give a message so here we got all the values from the form in this three php variables then we wrote an sql statement which is an insert statement into the users table and we use prepared statement and then executed it and the row will be inserted in the table so let us just test it let's see the table first so there is no data in this table we enter the name john do email john at test.com and the age 33 submit you can see data inserted successfully so let's see in the database refresh it so one row is inserted in the users table we can see the data is inserted successfully so now we are able to insert the data in the database so now we'll change this form a little bit so that form looks better we'll use bootstrap 5 so that we can use bootstrap classes and we'll change the design of the form and also this form is not responsive see this is not responsive so if you use bootstrap it will be responsive also so let's do that so index.php so here so we'll add bootstrap 5 from cdn just type get bootstrap get bootstrap.com scroll down you will see the bootstrap 5 css copy this and paste it here remove this now that we have added bootstrap we can use some bootstrap classes here let us use container class and also for the each input we will use form control class so let us add that and also use merging bottom mb3 and for this button we will use button primary and we will add some custom styles also so let's create a style.css file so now we'll add style.css here link css so now refresh it okay so this looks better now submit button is not coming it's not showing primaries so we have to use btn and then btn primary refresh it okay so this form looks better so now if you check it so you can see that it is now responsive let us add some style for the form also we will give a border give a padding
change the color now two things we need to add here one is error handling or exception handling and second thing is that we have to do the form validation we have to validate the input values if you see in the database there is one row and email is unique so if you try to insert another row with the same email let's see what happens test john at test.com is already there try to insert the same email id so it gives an error duplicate entry for this email id so we need to handle this error because we don't want to show this error like this we have to display user friendly error so we have to handle the exception here so let's do that here we'll use try catch we'll put this within try catch exception here echo get message let's refresh it and try to insert the same email id so it says duplicate entry so this is better it's showing that duplicate entry for the email id so now since we are using bootstrap we want to display this message in more user friendly way so we'll use bootstrap alert to display the success and error messages so instead of echoing is let's give a variable dollar success message and here give dollar error message and then so we initialize here as blank and then we will use bootstrap alert to display the error message and success message so just before form so we'll check if not empty success message so if not empty dollar success message then add a div with alert class so we are displaying success message so if success message is not empty we are using bootstrap alert and then within the alert we are displaying the success message similarly we will do the same thing for error message as well for success message we will add alert success and for error message we will add alert danger so now let's do the same thing again test john at test.com so you can see it's showing bootstrap alert for the error message let's give a defined email id so this is a different email id so it should be a successful insert click on submit data is inserted successfully if you see in the database so there are two rows now so we handle the error and also we displayed the error message and success message using bootstrap alert so now we'll do the form validation if i just click on this submit button so it's still inserting the row if you see in the database there is a blank row inserted because we have not validated the input so we need to do the form validation for the input values so let's do that so let's use this first trim function here so it will remove the spaces for integer we don't need to use so before inserting the data in the database we will validate the input if empty dollar name we will use a name error variable name must be entered similarly just copy this 
email and this would be age so we have defined three new variables we need to initialize them here name error email error and age error once we have done that in the form we will display them so we'll add a div here name errors similarly for the email and for the age for the email it should be email and age and we want to display error message in red color so we'll add a class here we'll add text danger so in case there are empty values we are giving error message for the three different inputs we will add a flag here error flag initially it will be false and in case there is any error we will make it true error flag equal to true just copy this and paste it here so we will proceed for insert only in case error flag is false if not dollar error flag that means there is no error then only we will proceed for the insert so now let's see first we will delete this empty row refresh it without entering anything just click on submit so now it is showing the error message and there is no row inserted john at test.com it is showing duplicate entry for the email but you can see that values are disappearing so we have to display the value also so that user can correct it and resubmit it so we will add value attribute in the form so go to the form and here add a value attribute for all these three input fields value equal to here it will be dollar name dollar email dollar age we need to initialize these variables dollar name equal to dollar email equal to dollar age so we added value attribute so value will be displayed in case there is any error in case of successful insert we want to reset the values so let's just initialize these values let us now test it first let's see the error message so we'll give test at test.com click on submit it's saying duplicate entry for the email and you can see the values are retained here it's not disappearing so that i can correct it now let's give test 22 and click on submit now so now you can see data inserted successfully and values are reset and if you see the database one row will be inserted test 22 at test.com so we are fine on that you can add the validation for the email also if you give just test and click on submit is showing email format is not correct we want to display some user friendly message for the email so in the email instead of type equal to email just give text and in php here if email is not empty then we will check the email format so we will use php filter else if we will use filter where dollar email comma and we will use filter validate email now filter where will check whether the email format is correct or not so if it is not correct we want to give message so we will use not filter where then just copy this and change the message not a valid format so now let's see give test test 
click on submit not a valid format email so we are able to display user friendly message for the email also so let's change this click on submit now so data inserted successfully see in the database it's inserted one row is inserted here so in this video we have seen how to create an html form and write php code to insert data into the database then we added bootstrap and modified the form for a better look we displayed the success and error messages using bootstrap alert and then finally we added validation so that unwanted data is not inserted into the database hope this was good learning for you if you like it please give it a like and share it with your friends and colleagues send your comments and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you